As part of our how-to series, we're going to look at the importance of seeing how everything is not structural so that you have a more fluid, versatile, and open response to everything in your life. If you haven't already, click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, hit like if you like what you're hearing, and put your comments below and we'll get back to you personally. And finally, you can join my weekly group membership meetings, reserve your place in one of my seminars, or purchase any of my mind-body guides, also known as the PDFs, at www.crushingdoubt.org. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at why very little in your body and mind is structural and why that is important. As fans of the show will know very well, the column system comes out of my questions and your questions and the answers I have been able to put together. Sometimes people will ask me how I came up with this system and why it works so well. While I am a creative person and I have a knack for organization and synthesizing material, I have to say that there are two main reasons that the system makes as much sense as it does and why I was able to see it so well. One is the mind-body system itself. All I had to do was to stay scientific and logical about what the body was showing me once I realized it was largely just an extension of the mind. The body does all of the work of telling us what we need to know if we know how to speak the language. Secondly, the columns aren't exactly an invention. They are a description of what is. But it is amazing how much better we feel when we understand it all. In other words, what I managed to do in creating the columns is to put together a very clear picture of how mind-body issues are actually working in a comprehensive and organizing way. But why is this important? Well, seeing that the columns are just describing what really is allows them to help us hammer away at doubt all the more. It also lets the recoverers sink into the columns with confidence because they aren't magic or some hard to learn thing. All they are is a razor sharp description of how life is from a mind body angle. And if that's all we need to know, then anyone can learn it and it applies to everyone. These are just the rules of how life goes, laid out in a clear, finite system that also allows for the flexibility to see how to apply these universal rules to your specific mind. With the columns, I could see that unconscious emotions were causing the onset and uptick in symptoms, that various forms of doubt and flawed thinking were cementing the symptoms into a seemingly crystal clear chronicity, and that my own level of power was determining a great deal about how well I was able to implement not just Sarno's ideas or any mind-body system, but any system at all in my life. Looking back on it, when I read Dr. Sarno, he helped me crush level one doubt very handily. Remember, this is any doubt that our symptoms come from structural or purely physical causes. He showed how all of the structural findings on MRIs and other imaging techniques were incidental, meaning that the symptoms, such as excruciating back and other musculoskeletal pain, were not coming from that supposed source. But it was as I looked deeper into the landscape of doubt that I found many ways to expand on the mind-blowing success of relieving eight years of chronic, every-moment back pain. I recognized that there was also level two doubt, the concern that some people get better because their particular symptoms are more amenable to mind-body work. And level three doubt, the doubt we have about our own ability to get better because of our very identities and qualities as people. As I worked to think these deeper doubts through, I came to the very same conclusion yet again, but this time I recognized that it was not a structure of the body of which I was convinced was causing my pain. It was a structure of the mind that I thought was immovable. In level one doubt, we have questions, confusion, uncertainty, or fear that we have an actual structural injury or problem instead of a mind-body condition and we need that clarity to get rid of the symptom. But the exact same architecture holds for level two and three doubt. In level two doubt, we think that this one symptom is different than the others and is as such structurally built differently, when in fact it isn't. In level three doubt, we apply the same sense of structure to ourselves. Now it's you who is structurally different in your mind than other people, making it impossible to get better. Or it is you who is structurally built in such a way, for whatever reason, that convinces you that change cannot occur. As it turns out, there is no structure that stands in your way in any part of your life experience. This is only doubt. It is only a belief system, and an incorrect one at that. This is why the columns not only apply to getting rid of physical symptoms caused by emotional and mental processes, but why the column structure can also lead to huge, quick breakthroughs in therapy and in psychological life in general. By helping each and every patient believe they can change, because nothing is structural or permanent, 
And because all beliefs can be changed with the right information, no one is stuck in anything. Said another way, once I applied enough science and logic, building on Dr. Sarno's work, I found that even the way my mind works isn't structural. In a way, this is the key to everything in the column system. I routinely remind people that we are moment-to-moment -moment beings. We always change because our minds are so active and changing that no moment is ever the same. But said another way, nothing is structural. This is of paramount importance to recognize because when we take away the idea of structural causes, we see that we have much more fluidity and more options. Not only do we have more options, but we stand much more of a chance of getting better when our efforts are founded on truth, reality, science, and logic. If we look at the types of doubt, we can see that doubt uses the idea of structural, immovable, or even just hard to adjust physical, mental, and emotional things to convince us that it will win. To get better, we have to challenge the idea that anything is really structural. The only structures that exist are things like the laws of physics or the fact that we are all mortal. We cannot do things that are impossible, but within the mind-body realm, anything the body can do for purely physical reasons, it can do for mind-body reasons. The same is true for the mind. Anything the mind can do for one reason, it can do for another. If you can get depressed because you lost a loved one, you can also get depressed because you have convinced yourself that something is horrible or damaged beyond repair. In other words, what we imagine to be true is just as powerful as what is true, so long as we believe it fully. Said another way, what we believe fully becomes a structural thing in our mind, or so we think. But nothing is structural that can't be healed or rebuilt in the case of inanimate objects. And your mind isn't as structured as it seems to be either. This is an illusion created by a psychological defense mechanism, and doubt loves to prey on that illusion because it is not only so powerful, but it is endorsed everywhere in society. Everywhere we turn, people tell us how hard it is to change. I'm not saying it is always easy to change, but what I am saying is that it is significantly harder to change if you think you can't. And this is all the more tragic when this doubt, worry, or fear is just an illusion, because then you are being led down a dark, horrible path for no good reason. The good news is, all we need to do is recognize the fraudulent nature of doubt. It doesn't have anything real to say, and once you see that you are never stuck in any kind of structure, physical, emotional, or mental, its power is diminished immediately and forever. I really hope you enjoyed this episode on tearing down the idea of unresolvable or immovable structural problems to take away one of the most key breeding grounds for doubt. If you haven't already, click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, hit like if you like what you're hearing, and put your comments below, and we'll get back to you personally.